And Greg, I heard from several drivers over the past 24 hours. We're going to introduce you to one of them. However, many of them say they'll drive for eight hours and after factoring in the cost of gas, they'll be left with 20 bucks, sometimes less. And in some cases, deliveries are so far, it's actually costing the driver money to deliver a meal. I have to switch between the map sometimes just to get where I'm going to the right place. Tony Bussert is navigating through a lot on his plate. It's uh, 8.4 miles total from here to pick up the food and then to where I'm dropping it off. Delivery is just one piece. So far this week, I've made 50 bucks. Tony drives delivery for DoorDash. After being let go from his management position during the pandemic, he'll tell you as he looks to find a new job, he's just trying to make ends meet. And it was working until gas prices skyrocketed. I usually spend a good half of the day just earning money for gas for the night. Gas prices in King County are averaging $5.50 a gallon, roughly $1.70 more than the national average. Most delivery apps don't cover the cost of gas. Currently, Tony's spending around $80 to fill his tank. Next thing you know, you're down to 20 bucks when you come home, lucky to come home with 50. Even if the return is small, this single dad says it's better than nothing. Like, I'm just surviving day to day. I, I can't think any further than that, honestly. Because, um, sorry, because I got a kid to feed and bills to pay. And it's not easy. And I'm probably going to get evicted this month. Um, not sure how I'm going to pay food bills this month. I mean, it's just, just bad. I'll probably have to just get rid of everything and move. If gas were to drop below $5, Tony said it would make a huge difference as he's navigating his life. At the end of the day, that's all any dasher is in this for is to make some money. So he tells me the number one thing people can do is remember to tip their delivery drivers. And I learned something today. There's actually a movement happening among drivers where they won't accept a delivery unless the order is above a certain price point. That's how they can be confident there's either a tip with the order or their cut of the total is going to be high enough to make that delivery worth it. Back to you.